I'm not arguing with any of that. I'm not dreaming. No, no darling. This is my dream. And I dream it every night. <laughs> that you've come back to me. And then I wake up. And it's a dream. You are both wide awake. It just feels like a dream. Best dream ever. I'm gonna leave you two alone. <laughs> Dad. I love you. I love you too. My queen of hearts. <laughs> you hung back where it belongs? <laughs> I've been wondering what happened to that. <laughs> with your dad back and my dad back. You know what we need? A party! party. Yep. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Oh, come on. It will be so much fun. It'll be a welcome home for you, Brooke, and, and Uncle Stuart. Yeah, come on. My dad's coming home from the hospital tonight. He loves a party. And so many people want to see Stuart. Besides, Pine Valley, it needs to be whooped up a little bit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Winifred! Yes! <laughs> Winifred! Oh. All righty, everyone I called is coming. Yeah. Stuart always was good at bringing everybody together. Well, you know, with so many family and friends coming back, it's like Pine Valley is being reborn. And where's the man of the hour? <laughs> oh. 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 Happy for oh, you, my darling. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, Stuart is checking out of the hospital, but he will be here real soon. Oh, Brooke. Oh, yes. Do you know where Adam is? I need to talk to him. Uh, he's in the den. Oh, great. Right here. Right here. Hi. Hey, everybody. Hi. 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 Don't you all just look beautiful? <laughs> what do you mean, look? As in, you can't. As in, I can <laughs> see you. <gasps> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, hey, you, you obviously missed your flight. Yeah, uh, on purpose. I ran into JR while I was at the airport. Oh, well, so did Dixie and I. Then you know what kind of trouble he's in. Big trouble. I'm just I thought it was my eyes adjusting, but it's not. You're glowing. Are you pregnant? No. Maybe. Oh. Wait, did you just say? I said maybe. Oh. Another baby? See, I told you incredible I know, I know. things are happening. I know you're on it. I'm just wondering, could you not have bought a lottery ticket or something when you're having all these feelings, getting all these this signs? This is so much better than the lottery, and you know it. Yes. And we have something else to add to the list. A little something. We're in game. Oh, my God! Congratulations! Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. I had to. I had to. It about time. Yeah. You know, I'm not even going to take credit for you two getting back together. Good. You know, I think I will give you a little bit of credit. So if it weren't for you, I don't think I would have even met this great guy. You do a good impression of a dead guy. You do a good impression of a guy who wanted me to. Want to see my impression? This is a woman who is very happy that David Hayward is out of our lives. For good. <gasps> they really invited you. I didn't even know this was going on. I just need to speak with Adam. Well, Ryan and Zach are in there. So if you don't want your head chewed off, I'd leave. I don't think anybody wants any trouble. Well, we've never seen eye to eye on parenting. We've never seen eye to eye on much of anything. And that there was a time when we both felt the need to leave this town. That's true. So maybe it's good JR left. He was so upset, I thought he was gonna explode. 
Let's hope we avoided detonation. Attention, please, all of you. Attention, attention. Hello. We want to welcome all of you. <laughs> yes, we want to welcome all of you. Adam and I are thrilled to have such wonderful things to celebrate and to be back in Pine Valley, back home. Yes, a toast to Pine Valley. Somewhere privately. Excuse me. It's all right, Adam. Don't worry that you lost my invitation, even though Stuart is thriving today, thanks to me. Doctor, I don't know how to thank you. Cash is always a good way to say I love you. What are you up to now? Listen, Adam is going to be furious with me for ruining the surprise, but they're planning a welcome home party for you, darling. Are you sure you're up for it? You, you mean a, a real, real party with family and, and friends? Yes. Oh, that's just what I needed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to ask, find out about JR, though. Hey, we're here. Yeah, what is so urgent? Uh huh? Your text message said to come right away. Uh, no, no, I, I didn't send you guys a text message. <laughs> Um, uh, it's funny, you know, because at a, at a time like this, there's always so much that you want to say. There's so many people that mean so much, and you, you can't find the words. Uh, but I've been thinking about it, and I've come up with three. Neighbors, family, and friends. I found all of them here it's been my home best life not to mention the beautiful woman standing beside me here's hoping she stays there <laughs> and then again there are all these amazing people that, that should be here and aren't that deserve to be here that have meant so much you know, and some of them, I'm sure, sooner or later, they're going to get around to buying a ticket home. They usually, they do. <laughs> and then there are others who, um, who sadly can't, you know, but, uh, I bet my life on one thing, that if they were all here, they would remind us what a miracle this place is. Listen to me. I've been waiting for you for 24 years, through all the other men, all the other careers, all the family issues, the personal problems. And now, you choose this producer, this, this screenwriter, this movie, over me. That's not true at all. And my dear, dear friends, what would I do without you? Met you back in high school. <laughs> you know, and now, uh... <laughs> Now, we all have kids that said goodbye to high school a long time ago. <laughs> How the hell did that happen, you know? But it, uh, it's because of uh, the love and the help of everybody. Everybody in this room. Because that's how Pine Valley works. <laughs> always has. Always will. In a tragedy, a triumph. We come together. I wish 
the rest of my kids who are here to see this, you know, because this is, this, this is something to remember, folks. We'll be talking about this for a long time. But then again, I always like to think that no matter what, my family and all my children are always with me. So here's how. What do you say? <laughs> Erica, I want roots. I want family. I want marriage. I don't want to sit alone watching you chase your dreams. But, Jack, that's one of the reasons that you love me. Because I am such a dreamer. And you've always supported me. You want to stop now? No. No, I don't. But I can't let my dreams take a backseat to yours any longer. Jack, we share our dreams. These are our dreams. We love each other. I am committed to you, Jackson, and no one else. Erica, there's commitment, and then there's commitment. You don't want to get married. I have one more thing, one more thing I'd like to add to make these festivities perfect. Brooke. Yes. <laughs> I've been holding on to this for quite some time, unable to uh, offer it to you. But um, now, with all my heart, ask your permission to put this on your finger. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Will you marry me? As much as I want to be with you, I don't want to rush into some wedding just to reassure you that I'm not going anywhere. Finally, you admit it. I wish you the best of luck in L.A. and with the rest of your life. Without me. Get it back. Just watch me. 